All right, friends, these are the flat stones I was telling you about. And as you can see, what we bought them for is these are the legs that support the pool. We bought them to set the stone to set the legs on so that they don't sink into the ground. Um, what we bought the um, retaining wall rocks for is like right here, as you can see, we had to build the yard up because it was flat in the center and then sloped down both sides. So this side worse than the, the back that I'll show you here in a minute. But we bought retaining rock to put around here as well. Um, and then this is part of the plastic that we used and I used some of the leftover to make the pool, these pieces for the pool. So um, check my channel for the video on how to make these. These are the pool heaters. Um, you've seen on Pinterest where some lady was using those black garbage bags and then we've seen where there were some of these that had used hula hoops. It was, they were made um, so they didn't use hula hoops that was similar to a hula hoop. And I got to thinking the pool noodles and the tarps, um, zip ties I already had, the pool noodles cost me a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, um, and with what bit of plastic I use, I probably have $2 in each one of my heaters here. And I've got seven of them in here. So 14 versus 48 a piece is, I think, pretty good. Um, so again, here's more of the stones. And then we got the ladder on three of them here. And we found another um, thing on Pinterest where it turns them diamond shaped. And Brad kind of mentioned you might want to try that. Um, here is the black hose. And the reason we went with the black hose is it's a way to heat the water. So um, we have it laying out in the sun all the way around the house. Except for right here, it's starting to get in the shade. Yikes. Um, so the, yeah, you can hear the grass is really squishy because the green hose had a huge leak and it was spraying all over the side of the house and to the neighbors and it has a big puddle down there on the sidewalk because right here is like a trench type thing in our yard and yeah lots of water and this is the hose holder that I told you we had bought yeah, I think it's really cool it's got the star on it and it just stakes right into the ground because the one we have out here is this type and when we went to turn the hose on it blew apart and we lost we lost it so we had to plug directly into the spout so we decided we'll run it along the house here and have it pop out over there and hook the hose up and run it under the spouting so to help kind of feed it through so that when we need it out back so that is the other thing now the last piece that we bought is out here and the wagon hooked up to our pickup and they are we bought these retaining wall pieces now this um, I ran through as a separate charge these um, Walmart gave to us and they're the, the smaller ones they're not the great big ones these were a dollar 32 a piece and um, our local Walmart because it is the end of the season and because we bought what she had left gave them to us we got 96 of them for a dollar a piece so it only cost me $96 to um, get the lots for the retaining wall so once we get started on putting those up where we're going to use those around the pool, I will bring you along for that. So if you like these kind of videos and want to continue to see them, um, hit the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. I don't do a whole lot of hauls because my biggest shopping besides groceries is um, Dollar Tree <laughs> when I'm getting ready to do some DIYs. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
and we will be more than happy to bring more of these to you. And again, like I said, got the hose out in the sun, so hopefully it'll heat up the water as it's going into the pool. But if you like these videos, let us know down in the comments. Let us know if there's anything more you'd like to see, especially with the pool. Because over there's our neighbors, and they put their pool up first. So uh, we're a little less than, just a little under half full. So we're getting there. We're getting there. This morning the water was pretty cold when I had to get in and um, work the wrinkles out of the bottom. So, but we'll keep you posted on how well these crash, these uh, black, the water's still pretty cold coming out of the hose. Um, how well these work at helping to heat up the pool. We'll keep you posted on that because there's something else that was bought. It's a skimmer that has, not the skimmer, I'm sorry. Um, that is the chlorine tablet loader and it has a thermometer on it. Now that it's hot down the side, let me see if I can reach it. Being short. Mm, nope, can't quite. But we'll watch the temperature and I'll let you guys know how well these are doing. So again, if you like these kind of DIYs like I've done here the last couple of days and want to keep up with us on the pool, just uh, hit the subscribe button and we'll be more than happy to get back with you. So until the next time, my loves, have a great day. Bye.